A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Yahweh and other names. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, and other names. Roka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity. Shalawam also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to share a few thoughts, you know, regarding what's going on here in Italy. And, you know, seeing everything that's going on, you know, there is still a lot of people out there who still don't believe this truth that we're teaching in which this truth is actually the way is the only way to go man and this truth is yahweh shy you know it says i am the way the truth and the life you know no one gets to the father except through yahweh shy and if you don't accept this truth you don't accept yahweh shy now here in italy you know lots of things are going on you know it's uh the people are easily brainwashed in this place man you know the masses easily brainwashed you know they gurgitate whatever the government feeds them you know the media is so is so heavily heavily ma manipulated you know and the tv is here you know they're only speaking from one side you know they don't speak from the other side Everyone is paid. Everyone is part of the agenda. Everyone has a role in this NWO, this agenda of the devil, you know? And the people are being carried away. But now they're beginning to see. But then they're not putting their trust where they should be putting their trust, you know? You know, woe unto those, you know, who put their trust in men that's the book of jeremiah i can't remember right now i'm just roughly paraphrasing you know so someone called yesterday you know and it lives in the city of milan which milan is is a huge city in italy right here you know one of the business hubs in italy and they're really going heavily draco style down in in, in 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 milan though a lot of people are protesting but you know they finally succeeded in in subduing those people you know protesting so the friend that called yesterday was actually surprised that we living up in the northern part of italy you know to be precise in venice the area of venice okay so he was surprised how we can still, you know, go about certain things, you know, without being checked. If we have the, the green pass or not, you know. So he was telling us that over there, um, you can barely go anywhere without being checked, you know. Now before, before going into the buses, before going into trains. So if you don't have your car, uh, you... <sighs> For lack of better words, you're fucked, man. You know, you can't move. And excuse my Italian, you know. And once you're driving around, you know, there are different stops in which you're being checked, man. He was actually surprised that we, we carrying on, you know. And the brother, Yahawada, who is also of the GMS Italy camp, you know, responded to that friend and told him, hey, Listen, you know, we put our trust in the most high Yahweh Shemiah Shai, you know. 
<laughs> and we're going to be safe in these times. At least that's our hope, that's our faith that we're going to be saved in these times when other people are going to be facing different troubles, you know. The book of um, Psalm 91 says, you know, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, you know, ten thousand at thy left hand, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but they would never come night day, you know. Only with thy eyes shall thy see um, the judgment of, of the wicked, you know, just roughly par paraphrasing, you know. And another friend, you know, just came to, to see me not too long. You know, we used to work together. So he was telling me now, if I've heard the new updates, things that are going on now, that the police now have the right to stop you if you're on the street, you know, and ask you if you have the pass. And if you don't have the pass, they have the right to take you to the center and get you firstly poked, you know, get you firstly you, you firstly get that poke you know so this is the situation right here in italy you know this is the situation right here and i've been i've been watching you know some of the speeches made by the politicians here you know i'll just tell you like a good 98 percent of them 99 percent of them a good 99 percent of them are all bots they're all part of the dumb agenda you know they, they try to act like, you know, they're actually speaking for the, for the mass. They act like they're on the side of the mass, but they're actually on the side of, you know, the banking families, you know, the people, you know, pushing this agenda to rule the whole world under the power of Satan, you know? And a lot of people are opening their eyes. And, you know, most thing that I see is that there are a lot of, you know, Italian females really opening their eyes. You know, a lot of women are actually opening their eyes now. They, they're seeing maybe a little more than the men. I really don't know what's going on here, you know. The females are easily seeing, you know, certain things that the, than the men here in Italy. And it's strange, really. You know, these men are just all bogged out, you know. They don't believe in conspiracy theorist or whatever whatever you say they say you're a conspiracy theorist you know and they seen you know clearly all that's going on you know and certain of them you know they're beginning to wake up you know seeing what's going on and realizing that man there is something really going on man so hey what's happening here you know it's only going to get worse and now, if you go read, if you go read the era of Hitler, Adolf Hitler, you read a little of his story when he got into power, how he got into power. This is exactly the same old tactics, you know. There is nothing different, you know. They just actually pushing the same old agenda. But now, they really want the total control. They want to do a big reset, you know. And their plan is in 20, 2030, you know, everything is set for the NWO. And these people are actually running out of time because this is um, 2021. We're just about to get into 2022 and they have just eight years left. So they need to hurry up. They still have other agendas to, to do, you know, bring in this ele ele um, electric cars that are going to be con um, controlled by, uh, by a central chip, you know, it's going to monitor every of your movement, you know, certain places you can you can go past, you know. The MOTB is just right at the at the corner in which you know it has to be included into your into your, your into your body, you know, um your 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 documents, you know, the money, the digital currency and everything. So they have a lot to still push out, you know. So they're actually in a in a haste because they they don't they're running out of time, you know. They are actually running out of time. And very soon, they're going to be coming out like mad men, man, sparing none, you know, showing their full horns. And to the, this is to the brothers, you know, in Babylon the Great, you know, definitely to all the brothers in all parts of the world, because we are all going to, we are all going to face, you know, some really hard times, you know, just like the book of, um, of Daniel chapter 12 tells you, you know, a time like never before, you know. 
you need to really be strong now you know <laughs> you you really need to start praying for the most high yahaba shem yao shai to give you the spirit to be able to stand whatever comes your way because that's just all you have to do pray to the most high to give you the spirit to be able to stand whatever comes your way because there it's written in the scriptures that these times are going to come they surely must pass you know you can't you can't um avoid these hard times you know it's part of the prophecies you know so they surely must come so you pray for the spirit to be able to withstand whatever comes your way and there is this um this italian i don't know if he's a politician you know i i, I barely see him you know i was just going through tiktok and i was listening to what he was saying he was invited to a tv you know hoping that he was going to be part of the agenda but you know the spirit was heavy on him he was feeling guilty he doesn't he doesn't want to be a part of that shit, you know and you know he said some things you know it made some it made so much sense you know saying you know the same people and if you just it's just easy for you to just go through the history of medicine you know and you 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 start to see what those big farmers they've been doing you know they actually create medicines to 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 heal you for just a short while then get worse than before you know they never plan to cure you you know they're only planning to you know get secure that you always come back and make them richer and these same people are trying to save the world now so there is something fishy and after saying all this he said he wouldn't take that hikiviki you know he wouldn't he wouldn't take it even if he has a gun pointed to his to his head and that was powerful man and i was like this is the spirit man that every everyone in this church should have man you know who should we fear should, should we fear the, the men or we should fear the most high yahweh about shemiah shai this is the spirit you should be having in this time man you know ready for whatever man those who shall try to save their lives shall lose it and those who shall lose their life for the sake of Yahweh Ba Shem Shai, they shall gain it a thousand folds, man. Eyes have not seen, neither have heard, ears heard that which the Most High Yahweh Ba Shem Shai has promised to those that love him. According to the book of, um, is it, um, 1 Corinthians 2 9, you know? So, hey, <laughs> all those Jakes that are still not believing, that are still, you know, who that are still gurgitating you know that babylon jews philosophies still going to churches still going to mosque being part of some crazy bs you know new age movement or whatever this is the last chance for you man this is the last call because very soon the prophets are no longer going to be out there you know pushing this truth that's we got into the book of amos 8 11 you know so this is the last time you have open your eyes and start praying for the most high to open your mind to open your heart to give you the understanding of this truth because this truth is going to be the stability of our times you know if you don't have this truth in, in the times that are coming you're going to bug out man many still don't believe is their unbelief going to change anything no that their unbelief is, is not definitely not going to change anything because you know that's what they've chosen so they're going to pay the consequences of not believing this is the book of romans chapter 3 verse 3 it says for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the fate of yahweh power without effect and the answer is no their unbelief doesn't matter man <laughs> who gives a hoot who gives a, a flying f if anyone doesn't believe in this truth man that's to your own damnation that's to your own destruction man verse 4 says god forbid yeah let yahweh shem yahushai be true but every man a liar as it is written that that thou might as be justified in thy sayings and might mightest overcome when thou art judged so when these people are going to be getting that destruction, you know, the most that Yahweh is well justified in everything it does, you know. 
even the wicked woman has given the time you know to carry on in their wickedness you know the most high is over justified man to destroy them because he has created them actually for that vessel of destruction and you know jake wouldn't want to be a part of it in the united states alone babylon the great two thirds of the house of israel is going to perish two thirds of the house of israel is going to perish and a lot of people outside um outside um babylon the great are also going to perish of the house of jake you know we don't know the actual amount but in babylon the great we know two thirds are going to perish only a third is going to be saved and outside babylon the great a whole lot of people are going to be destroyed a huge number you know because jake is just after crazy things jake is still thinking of you know success of how to 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 build a career in 2021 who did that to you man now this is the book of always romans chapter 9 i'd read from verse 6 which quotes not as though the word of god i read verbatim say not as though the word of god has taken none effect for they are not all israel which are of israel so it's not all the all those who are israel are actually of israel you know just like the book of galatians i believe says you know the, there is a israel of god you know there is a israel of the most high yabba shemi Shai. those are his elect and you really want to be a part of that number we are actually praying you know we're fearing the most high yabba shemi Shai. we're going out to the highways and byways you know to put our faith to, to prove our faith to the most high you know following his words to the best of our abilities so we might be we might be counted amongst that number so mercy will be found found on us you know this is this is what we do this is the book of hebrew chapter 4 verse 2 it says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it so this same this same truth that we've heard you know you cannot you cannot deny it you know the eld the apostles you know starting from the other apostle taha and the apostles that were before him you know they started this thing way long talking of decades man talking of decades you know and you can't you can't you can't um you can't lie that you haven't heard about the hebrew israelite you can't lie that you haven't heard about the doctrine you can't lie that you haven't even seen anyone on the street you know i have a friend in babylon in great the great you know and you know i was trying to teach him a little of this truth he has a he has a sister that is a that is a celebrity down in nigeria you know a kind of big celebrity you know and you know he's just carried away with all that juice and i was trying to like you know let him know because we're childhood friends you know so i was trying to let him know that hey you know this is what's going to happen you know according to the scriptures according to prophecies you know you need to come out from this you know you need to come out from the church you know and start following this truth you know but you know he had a kind of he was reluctant to the truth you know he's trying like bring in science and all that bs you know the pseudoscience you know and certain people you wouldn't really be able to teach them anything you know because they believe that what they know is what they know you know they don't go out of that box they're scared to go out of that box they don't dare to go out of that, of that box so they can't deny it you know they have heard about this truth but they didn't turn their hearts you know so the same gospel that was preached unto us was preached also unto them but it profited them not so in the days of trouble they are definitely going to remember that oh 
I once heard about this, you know. And they're going to partake of the destruction coming, man. Yahweh Shai is coming with judgment for everyone, you know. Whatever you've, uh, as you've comported yourself, that's how you're going to get judged, man. Everyone will get judgment, you know, according to what he or she has done, you know. So, let's get to the next precept. That's the book of um, Romans. Romans 10, verse 16. The book of Romans 10, 16 says, But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, Lord, who had believed our reports? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. They have not obeyed this truth, man. They have not obeyed the gospel, man. The gospel has been preached, you know, and this gospel is, is a... Is a is a gospel of peace, man. It's a gospel of, of hope, you know. It's a gospel to let you know that you, that you're built at the bottom of this, of this society. You called scumbags, you called coons, you called niggers, you called blacks, you called every dumb thing. You're a slave to the system. The gospel is to tell you that, hey, there is hope for you. You're, act, you're, the, you're the actually princess, you know. You're the actual kings of this of this place, man. But these people don't want to receive it, you know. They feel better, you know, being slaves, man. They feel better being slaves, you know. What's that syndrome called? Um, um let's see, just kept my mind now. There is that syndrome, you know. Well, it's all good anyway. The point has been made. Now let's go to the next. I'm going to read um I wanted to read the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 22. It's a little long, but I don't mind reading it, you know. I'll just go through it fast. So this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 22. It says, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have? In the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged and the vision vision faileth. And this is the exact thing that is going on, you know. <laughs> this is what is this is what's being spoken now, you know. That like, oh, these visions they fail, you know. But though lots of people are actually opening their eyes, their eyes in these last days, they're seeing that this these visions are not really failing anymore, you know. They're seeing things that are happening, so they're trying to wake up, you know. So he says, Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yehobah, Hashem, Yahushai, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, The days are at hand, an effect of every vision. Habakkuk 2, 3, you know, though this vision starry wait for them, they, sh they, mu they must come, just roughly paraphrasing, you know. These visions and these prophecies are really at hand. That I'm going to, going to skip quickly to verse 27 it says son of man behold they of the house of israel say the vision that he see is for many days to come and he prophesied of the times that are far off <laughs> to your greatest surprise you know just people believe that these things are not going to come they're not going to happen you know it's still for a long time to come but hey all things are happening right before your eyes man if you open your eyes Though Esau has lots of enchantments, lots of sorcery going on through the media, you know, through the TV, through the information, you know, they, 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 they give you some watered down information, you know, they, they manipulate everything, you know, because they have the power to do so. That doesn't mean that these things are not happening, you know. Lots of things are happening, you know, the prophecies are all popping out, man. So well, I'll bring out two more precepts and I'll close the lesson. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Because 
sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil and can this is what it is man because the most high is not actually is not is not is not putting out judgment immediately to people once they do wrong things you know once they commit sins and transgress against him because he's not putting out judgment immediately they believe the most high is not is not judging you know they believe the most high is just is just there he is not even existing you know and this is the period of judgment guess what that period of judgment that you'll be waiting for you know the knucklehead the knucklehead two thirds that period of judgment is just right here man you're going to see so much of that judgment and you would not know where to run to you get confused and you would bug out man but remember you once heard the truth but you pushed it aside you know you didn't give heed to it you want to make your mealy mealy you want to make your mula you want to make the cheddars you know you want to make money you want to you want to become famous you want to do this you want to do that you know you want to follow your careers you know some even go after women all their life they, didn't, they never get enough of that pussy man they never get enough you know and that's what they go after all their life you know being carried away with different winds and different doctrines and different different madness man jake never gets enough and jake never he never mans up man my last precepts last but not the least this is the book of second peter actually reserved this for the last second peter 3 4 which says i'm going to read from one verse this is the book of second peter verse 3 uh, chapter 3 verse 3 says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation you know <laughs> lots of scoffers out there you know when you when, when when they see us sometimes i remember we going out you know teaching this this truth you know putting on this garment you know humbling ourselves before the most high yah but shemiel shai some people will pass by and you know they just feel like laughing and most especially it's always jake that does that that does that sees us and can't hold the laugh you know we laugh like what is people doing out there you know dressed like this you know another thing you know they scoff you know they all walking after their own lust you know just like i just mentioned they want to go after all different kinds of things you know they want to go after everything except the truth you know except that that pleases the most high you know and they believe because they tell you that ever since i was born i've been hearing that there is a messiah that's going to come jesus is going to come this that blah blah you know but there is nothing happening man they believe you know everything is just going to keep going on the way it is man but the most high yahweh is unjust um is is, is not an unjust power excuse me slip of tongue the most high yahweh shimmy shai is not an unjust god you know the most high yahweh shimmy shai is justice he lets all these things be so judgments can come so it's in its fullest man and many of people many of these people are really going to bug out really you know lots of mad things about to come we're seeing what's going on in australia locking people into camps you know that's coming very soon to italy as well because you know what they actually say now is you know if the police stops you on the street and you know you don't have a pass you know they have the right now to take you down to the to the to the to the vicky point you know so hey y'all better wake up you know this is still a short time of grace and this time of grace is no longer long man it's very short man persecutions are coming to its fullest you know and we know that many of some of us are going to be you know persecuted many of us are going to be killed for this truth you know but what we need to pray for is to have the spirit to be able to stand whatever the most high Yahweh brings our way. 
Hopefully this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.